All right, my friends, it is Thursday morning and I've got a great episode for you today. It's episode 408 and we are talking about the, the two L's and why you shouldn't take that second L. L stands for losers, uh, losses, not losers, losses. And you know what? We all do it. I do it myself and you beat yourself up. For, I, I, I beat myself up for it, but we need to learn. And this is what I'm talking about today. So what I mean about, right, the first loss sometimes is unavoidable. Even if it isn't unavoidable, even if the first loss was your mistake, still listen to this. So the first loss is mostly unavoidable, i.e. your partner breaking up with you. But the second loss is your choice. You choose to take that second loss. You choose to stalk them on Instagram, Facebook. You're the one who chooses to be upset. Nobody else. You choose to be upset. I'll give you another example. The pandemic. The pandemic is the first L for most people. That, my friends, is completely unavoidable. Businesses closing, of course, it's unavoidable. Losing a year, socializing, seeing your friends, dating, having Netflix and chills. That was never out when I was a kid. God damn it. <laughs> Business loss of earnings, etc. But the second L is avoidable. Don't get down. Don't get upset. You have to focus on what you can control. You can't control the first L but you sure as hell can control the second L. Don't take the second L. Don't participate in the second L. Don't be part of the downfall. The first L is okay. The loss is unavoidable sometimes. Even if it isn't unavoidable, there's a loss there. It's okay. It's on the board, but you don't have to follow it up with a second loss. You control that second L. Nobody else. You are in control, you make the moves, and you control whether you put that second L on the board or not. I'll give you another quick example. I'm thinking to myself, gambling, betting. When I gamble, and I have, um, I, I give you a, a few months ago, I had a big, big bet, and I mean a big, big bet on Brighton. And they controlled the game, the stats were fantastic, the expected goals were great, but they lost the game. And I, through, through 90, uh, it, was, it was actually said that 91% of the time, Brighton would have won that match but it was just this happened to be at 9%. So it was it was avoidable, obviously, because I didn't have to gamble. But that, that L was on the board. I didn't have to follow it up with a second L because I got mad. I got upset and I thought, oh, woe me, woe me, me. Poor me, my fault. Um, it wasn't my fault, it wasn't my fault. I need to get this money back because I don't deserve to lose this money. I was definitely right about the match. But it just so happened that it fell in a 9% percentile that made me lose. So I followed it up with the second L. I lost another £500 that weekend because I was following up with the second L. I was in control and I was a person. It was my fault, that second L. That first L, not avoidable because sometimes anomalies happen in sport on betting and gambling, but I was on the right selection. I did my homework and knew it was the right selection. Like I said, 91% of the time, it would have won. 9% of the time, it didn't. And it so happened to fall there. But I was in control of that second L. And it's my fault. And there you go, bump on the board. I was in control of that second L and I didn't control it enough. So what I want you to ask yourself is when you have the first L, because you are going to have the L, it's unavoidable. L's will come, losses will come, whether it be personal, business, whatever, financial, L's will come, but you control the second L. Do you follow up the second L? The, the loss? Do you have the second loss? Because I promise you, that second loss is more painful than the first one. You can't control the first one. That L is on the board, but you can sure as hell control the second L. Oh, I love this episode. Right, tomorrow we're talking about celebrating milestones and why it's so important. Okay, my friends, I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'm going to see you later. Bye-bye.